Hello everybody, this is Delpha, and we're starting a new visual novel called If My Heart Had Wings. Um, I'm probably going to do something else as well as this, um, but, um, well, uh, hopefully that'll work, but I'll see. Um, anyway, I'll quickly show you the, some of the settings that the game has, looking at them, it, alright, uh, one other thing I need to mention, this game does give character voices and everything. Um, I don't even know if I can test it. No. Okay, never mind that. Um, so, I don't know if you guys would rather me do all the reading. That would mean I would have to turn off people's voices. Or, you'd rather keep it as it is and I'll just do the voice uh, for my character. For now, I will probably just do my own. So just my characters, the characters, all like and like the random narration and stuff like that. So let's go on. Oh yeah, this is the adult version. After uh, anyway, hopefully it actually installed properly. <laughs> we'll see. If I get through a whole story without any anything, then I'll know I haven't got the right version. Oh boy. Okay then, let's start. This will be fun. What noise is that? Is that the sound of a bike? I'm guessing a bike. Oh no, I should have sped up the, the tech speed. Oh well. Road bicycle racing is known as the toughest sport. Among other things, the hill climb is hell too. While putting a strain on every muscle in your body, you have to con uh, continue pedaling without any brakes to climb a steep hill. At that time, I always think, I can't do this anymore. I'll make this race my last. Even though I think that every time in my head, uh, in the end, I still take part in the next race. I've endured severe training so that I don't put my feet down halfway through the uh, hill climb. Why do I do this? That? Because once I finish the hill climb, my reward is waiting for me. And your reward is? Ah, oh, this bit. Going down the hill on the other side. You can always get a massive accident. I don't think I've ever fallen off a bike going downhill, but eh. nothing compares to the uh, the feeling of cutting through the wind as I race downhill section of the uh, blistering speeds, blistering speeds, should I say? God. At that moment, I feel an incredible rush. Then I realise that I've forgotten about something. I'm not wearing any underwear. The pain of the hill climb. The strain on every muscle in my body, and the days of hard practice. It's not a matter of uh, whether I win or lose the race. I just enjoy it, and that's why I continue to ride. That's how it should have been. And this is the part where he had an accident, I'm guessing. Ooh, windmills. You know, it's weird to have animation in one of these visual novels. What do, we, what do you guys actually call them? Do you call them visual novels or do you call them e-rogues? I just call them both. If I ever if I ever say e-rogue, it's a visual novel. If I ever say visual novel, it's an e-rogue. Don't think there's really much of a difference. If there is, just tell me, because I don't know. I still didn't have much uh, experience in life at the time, and there was something beyond my imagination. Suddenly, without warning, something was taken away from me. Oh. I could also say, shut away, or lost. Is it his confidence or something? Hmm. However, to uh, directly express the emotion I felt at the time, taken is the word that fits best. Taken. Hmm. So there was one thing that I learned. Life isn't all about having fun. I learned a lesson in life. Don't be, ki don't be Kyoto, please. The thing I lost was everything. I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have just thought about it a little more. If something could have been taken away from me so abruptly, then something could have been given to me just as suddenly. The wind blew. A gentle but strong wind. Uh, uh, it would not be unreasonable to call it an encounter. What this could be, the start of... Even now, there's still no way to let, uh, for me to know. Oh, 
We've got a windmill moving. A very slow windmill. It's slightly getting faster. <laughs> the windmill is turning. People are overwhelmed just because of the size of such emo uh, enormous things. There's a natural silhouette serves as a purpose, but to those who don't know what it is, it would appear to be something very bizarre. You know, some people say that these windmills are really ugly to see, but I don't see how they are. I think they're quite. I think they're quite cool. Think about it. They just spin, but they are pretty cool, in a way. Oh, more windmills. What, is it like a flying island or something? <laughs> Doubt it. Though everything looks a little bit um, futuristic, doesn't it? A little bit. Or it's just all the, like the um, solar panels and windmills. With so many lined up like this, it could be said to be even more overwhelming. But why is that? The sight of uh, the white windmills lined up on the uh, green hills somehow seems so uh, picture, uh, picture, uh, picturesque. Or is that actually what I said? Picture Q? Picturesque? I think it's picturesque. I don't know. This is amazing to think that something like this could be made. At the very least, five years ago there was nothing here. Just a wide open space, so he's coming home from somewhere. I heard they were going to build a large scale renewable energy research facility. Wow, this game is actually beautiful. Wow. What's that noise? Oh, it's a phone, I was thinking that. The cell phone in my pocket vibrated to tell me I received, that I had received a text. It's from An-Chan. You can call everyone Chan or something at the end now. To AOE. I don't know how to say his name. I? AOE? I'll wait until one of the characters says his name. That'll be easier. Did you arrive here already? Sorry. I couldn't come to meet you. My name is written using a Chinese uh, character read as AOE. I don't know. <laughs> it's a difficult character and is often mistaken for Midori. Well, I called it AOE or something, so I'm off. <laughs> I'm way off. Uh, incidentally, whether it is AOE or Midori, it is often mistaken for a girl's name. I guess? Maybe? Uh, yeah, it makes sense actually. Which causes a few problems. Oh. I think I know what's gonna happen. I'll quickly write a reply. I hardly ever text, so I f uh, find the key touch awkward to use. I got here a little too early, so I'm just going to scroll. Uh, stroll. Uh, the windmills are amazing. <laughs> I read that a little bit too fast, I think. Okay, send. The reply came quickly. They're great, aren't they? It's the new famous spot of Kazagura. If you have any problems, contact me anytime. Anchan. Thank you, Anchan. Is this a guy or a girl? Guessing a girl. Because I'm pretty sure if you have Chan at the end, it's usually a girl, isn't it? Or is it San? I don't know. As I sent the text, I sat down on the grass. This place is a uh, on the hillside, so f uh, so from here, there, uh, I was able to gaze at the lake and the town that stretches across the op uh, opposite bank. The rapid uh, redevelopment of the town of uh, Kazigara meant that uh, the remnants of the old buildings from the Showa era are uh, intermingled with the modern architecture. The view experience uh, the view expresses both the past and the future at the same time. Oh well, now that is interesting. Question mark apparently. A paper plane. Something white skimmed across my uh, my field of vision. For a moment it looked like one of the uh, one of the windmills one, 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 of the, one of the windmill blades had come flying off, but there's no way that would happen. Unless something happened. But I'm pretty sure that wouldn't happen like that though. It is a paper airplane. It's a paper airplane? I got up and headed down to the slope to look for it. 
The paper airplane glided gently, eventually lost its momentum and descended. Yeah, whenever I seem to throw uh, a paper airplane, it always comes right back at my face. Seriously, it does. No matter where. <laughs> well, once in a while. Or they just hit the floor. Gotcha. I ran out ahead of it, uh, did a small jump and caught it in midair. Where did this come, uh, come flying from? Judging from the direction, it had to come from the top of the hill. At a time and place like this, could there be someone that here besides me? I took the paper, uh, took the paper airplane with me as I climbed up the slope. Just as I was about to be able to see the top, more gusts of wind. Oh, a pair of lane again. Let me guess, another plane. A sudden gust of strong wind blew the paper airplane from my hand. Ah, hey, wait! I chased after the paper airplane and ran up the hill, uh, up the slope. Well, apparently, you ran into the slope. Why is that in Japanese? I don't know. Well, the the title was in English. That's one thing, I suppose. Then, just as I finally caught it. Oh, here we go. We got legs. And a wheelchair. Ooh. Dots. There was someone on top of the hill. It was a girl sitting in the, a wheelchair. Looking fleetingly uh, into the distant sky. A sudden uh, breeze blew her hair and she uh, combed it back with her fingers. Against the background of the blue sky and the windmills that spread across my view, the girl's black hair and white blouse looked incredible. It was as if I was looking at a complete, uh, completed work of art. <laughs> oh, she saw us. The girl noticed me. Ah, uh, um... At first I thought um, I should make an excuse for, my, uh, for why I was here. There. It was like I had stepped into her, uh, into her world without permission and started to feel guilty. She's not saying anything. Some guy had to just suddenly appear, so perhaps she's being cautious. To show her the reason why I came up here, uh, I held out the paper airplane. Did you throw this? Why is she crying? The moment she saw it, her facial expression stiffened. Oh, now she's blushing. Oh dear. She looks like she's about to cry. Suddenly, tears are appeared in those delicate eyes. Huh? W what? The tears that uh, had welled up in the corners of her eyes came uh, running straight down. As I watched, great big tears came rolling down her cheeks. Huh? Uh, hey. Without thinking, I walked up to uh, beside her. What's wrong? Do you hurt somewhere? <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> As she shook her head, she touched the uh, the hand of. Oh no. She touched the hand that I had unconsciously held out as if she were clinging to it. Her hand was small and trembling. I might need to make the voices a little bit louder. Let's have it max for now. If it's a bit too loud, I'll sort it out next time. Squeeze. She gently squeezed my hand. It's okay now. I didn't even know what, uh, what the situation was. However, as I answered, I squeezed her hand back. Quack, quack. quack, quack. Chicken? Peck, peck, peck. Ow! Ouch! Before I knew it, there was something like a chicken at my feet, and all of a sudden, it was started pecking me. How would you mistake that for a chicken? That's obviously a duck. Peck, peck, peck. You should probably get like a sound effect for that. Ah! That hurts! 
What is this thing? Yeah, they don't speak English. <laughs> don't worry, sorry. So this is the reason why I asked if you want me to read it out so it's in English or you want me to basically keep it as is. Or something, I don't know. Hat? As it was called, calm down at your command. <laughs> Coo? Hat the duck. Um, is that a duck? Exactly. How could you mistake it for a chicken? Come on. With a yellow beak and white feathers, it was a duck that looked like a chicken. How does it look like a chicken? Maybe it's because it's fat. That might be it. For some reason, it was wearing a hat. Well, why do you think it's called hat? You're pretty close to the <laughs> to the screen, miss. Ah, I see. Ah. So, this is how surprising it is to ha uh, to be suddenly attacked by an animal. However. Thanks to that, it looked like she had stopped crying. Is a towel okay? I don't ha um, carry, a, carry a handkerchief around with me. Who really does that? Who carries a handkerchief around with them? As I said that, without waiting for her to reply, I took my hand, uh, I took my hand towel out of my bag. Of course it had been washed, so it was clean. Why were you crying? Did it hurt somewhere? So As she answered, she pointed to one of the wheels uh, of her wheelchair. It had lost its air and uh, had collapsed. You know, think with this futuristic time, uh, it's probably not even futuristic. It's probably modern modern time, but it feels futuristic because of all like the um, things in the background. It looked like. It lost its air and had collapsed. You got a flat tire? This is what you get for speeding. Sorry, I won't be... I won't... I don't think I should make any jokes, I don't know. Don't know if it's a good thing or not. Maybe not, I don't know. Gotta play it safe. Because of... Uh, I don't need to read her. What a terrible situation. Just a mere flat tire? For her, it was like having her legs taken away. Wow! Oh, I should have read that. <laughs> I'm messing up now. She answers dismayed. SOS? Oh, this. He didn't really open it, he just held the aeroplane. <laughs> I opened up the paper aeroplane as and that I still had in my hand. I'm in trouble, someone help me. I'm on the windmill hill. Is that actually what they call it? Windmill hill? I suppose it makes sense. So when someone arrived carrying the paper aeroplane, she felt re uh, relieved and started to cry. She was fine now, but until just now, she was shaking. That must have been how scared she was. Hold on a moment. Uh, the bag at my feet. I re uh, wrestled. Uh, I, I wrestled as I I rummaged around inside it. When she saw the tools uh, that I had taken out, she seemed confused. Would it be okay uh, for you to get out with the out for a moment? Uh. I'm going to fix it. Uh, you can't go anywhere if you have a flat tire, can you? So, so Of course. Getting out of the wheelchair is not easy for her. Yeah, probably wouldn't be. Um, what should I do? Oh yeah, he wouldn't know where really to hold her, would he? Uh, from the methods I've seen on TV, the care workers do it by embracing them from the front. We both looked as though we had imagined that <laughs> that situation and froze. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. 
and just like that, I put my arms around her, around her sides, and her back. I suddenly lifted her up. <laughs> what type of <laughs> what type of noise is that? Whoa, she's so light. It's actually was uh, much lighter than I expected. There was a, was a bit too much momentum. Hup. Before she had got, before she could grasp the situation, I put her down on the soft grass. You don't have to keep making noises. There's a time and a place. I'll have to, uh, I'll have it fixed soon. So hold on a moment. Why is she making all these noises? <laughs> there. They're made in the same way as a bicycle tires. I immediately started on one of, uh, on the repairs. Uh, she's behind me, so I can't see her expression, but I had a feeling that I was being stared at uh, with contempt. Contempt. Where? As I quietly worked, the duck was waddling around me, uh, pecking at the soil. Okay. Thank you, duck. Hat, I mean. Is this duck your pet? Housemates. Housemates? Okay, so Hat is the main character. I want you all to know that. Do ducks recognize their own names? When he's called, he responds by turning around. Hey, he's pretty smart. That makes sense. As I looked at the duck, I saw her legs laid out on the grass. I need to speed up the writing. It's getting a bit of a pain. Sometimes uh, it's under text, isn't it? Wow, you'd think it'd actually be a lot faster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, she can't move them? There are a number of reasons why people need to use a wheelchair, but it looked like she had been in a wheelchair bound for a while. When I picked her up just now, her body stiffened with surprise, but there was no strength in her le at all in her legs. The duck returned from his little excursion. While, I was, uh, while walking around her, he would occasionally try to jump onto her lap. She said, uh, she said as she made him get down again. As I watched this exchange from a corner of my eye, I fixed the flat tire. Yep, this is what boys are all about, fixing things, apparently. <laughs> That's not really the case, though. I sometimes carry them with me. Well, she seems nice, though we haven't really got her name yet, other than girl. But I'm guessing she's the main female character. As she said that, she made a little hmm a, a sound as she stretched. Who goes hmm? <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, his hair is kind of like my hair, except, well, I suppose it's not anime hair, so it's not like that long, either. A little bit longer, and it'd be an emo flap. The wind blows through here. Five years ago, there were no windmills, though. I've just come back to the town, uh, to this town. Does she know him? She directed her gaze as, uh, at something far away. Yeah. She suddenly looked down and seemed lonely and strangely sad. There was an awkward silence as I continued working. Wah. The duck twisted his neck to look up at the sky. Let me guess, it's going to start raining. She was tempted to look up too. What are we looking at? 
the clouds? What is what's that? Okay, on my screen there's like a weird circle. So it might be a UFO. <laughs> you probably won't be able to see it. I don't know if it's just something I accidentally got on my screen. I can't tell. There was something floating in the air. It was a uh it was it was crossing the lake and gradually getting closer. Definitely not a UFO. Oh, the circle's gone now. It's weird to have animation. It paused in midair. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> At first, I thought it was uh, it was that paper airplane that she had thrown coming back to us, but it wasn't. It crossed the lake and eventually reached the air above the small hill where we were. An airplane? It's not paper. It's a real plane. But what is this? A silhouette? This is much thinner than any plane I know. And the wings are really big. Glider. A glider. Oh, I suppose it is a glider. Except it hasn't got an engine. Wait, don't they need an engine to start? I don't know much about gliders. I'm not sure, I'm not hundred percent I'm not a massive fan of knowing everything about planes. Oh well, I'll learn something today probably. A glider? What? Why does it look like it's plummeting? What on earth? Is it meant to look like that? Please tell me it's meant to look like that. I repeat the name as if to confirm it, and then looked to the sky once more. Oh, with its big white wings and wide silhouette, it reminds me of some uh, somewhat of a seagull. Hold on, meet that. Oh, so it's turning. To me, it just looked like some sort of random massive blodge on the screen <laughs> coming slowly towards us. The glider, question mark, is, continu <laughs> is continuing to turn leisurely above our heads. It's flying ever so slowly. As it receded slowly across the blue sky, it seemed to be floating rather than flying. Looks like it would be not. Uh, it would feel nice. The turning glider looks as if it, uh, it had given up on it rising and came down towards the top of our hill. I mean, it's not like it was coming down to land. It was just uh, reducing its altitude. Why don't we try waving? They might notice us. Would they notice you? Depends how high up they they are, I guess. She earnestly stretched out her arm, uh, out her hand, and waved towards the white aircraft floating in the sky. Hi. They won't be able to hear you. Mama. Well, Hat's excited about it. I believe I can fly. I promise you, I won't sing. I don't know if the pilot noticed us or not. However, the wings reflected a gleaming light, and it really did look like as if it was answering us uh, from calling out to it. Then a glider turned its back to us and flew away, back to the other side of the lake where it had come from. She remembered sadly as she lowered her, her hand. Well, it's not going to land on top of you, is it? Do you really want a plane to land on top of you? I think that'd be painful. What's this? Oh. Oh, look. Extend the wi little wings which fly in this story. Or sky. I don't know what it said. Well, we seem to be moving somewhere closer in. Looks like a town. Is the town big? Oh, no. We've got cicadas. Do you usually find cicadas in hot countries? I well, some countries, you don't find them in the UK. I fixed the flat tire and went with her t into the town. Uh, this is the residential area of, on the opposite uh, bank of the lo of the lake to Windmill Hill, where we were just now. Okay. I'll take you back home. 
It seemed like she was going to say, uh, she was going to say, but before she so uh, before she stopped speaking. Bleh. For a girl with a walking disability, just because she was uh, sh uh, because she was shown a little kindness, she can't just bring some guy she hardly knows back to her house. To mention it, if your tie ever goes flat again, call me anytime. I only said that I said it as a joke. But she blushed and looked down nervously. <laughs> Quack's confused. D hat, not quack. If you're thanking me, you already did that just now. Oh, you haven't got any friends? Yeah, me too. And I saw something unusual too. The glider that we had just seen... A was now flying in the in the air above the hill where we were just now. Okay. <laughs> she murmured quietly and giggled. Hmm. There's gotta be something, isn't there? Is this your real personality? Oh, it probably is. I wonder what all the personalities are going to be like. Or they're all going to be like civil. We'll see. Uh, coupled with her cute and dainty appearance was her lovely smile. Okay. Okay, take care. The wheels squeaked as she pushed the wheelchair along with her hands down the empty streets. Behind her, the duck was wearing a hat waddled along with her. Hey. She stopped her uh, hands and turned to face uh, face me. See you again. She looked troubled and embarrassed, then left without saying anything. She sure was cute. Where is she from? Her appearance was quite graceful, as if she were the daughter of a rich family. A little lady with a duck? It was an odd combination, but they seemed strangely familiar with each other. Okay, I'd better go. Where are we going? Well, apparently we just zoomed in. Now, I'm going to find the dormitory called Flying Fish Manor. Great name. <laughs> Due to certain the circumstances, uh, that place will be my new home. While walking along the gently sloping street, I looked up in the cl at the clouds moving above. Floating so fr uh, freely like that, they reminded me of the, of the glider. Uh, that distinctive silhouette has left my mysteri uh, mysterious impressions on me. What's happening now? Oh, it's sunset. Ooh, there's the building, I'm guessing. <sighs> I finally found it. This place. Is this it? I can't read Japanese, so you'll have to do it for me. Flying Fish Manor! Such a big difference between its appearance and its name. What, Flying Fish Manor? What, are you expecting the fish flying around or something? That's like giving a tough looking Japanese uh, Tosa. Tosa? A name like Lily. I guess that means, what, like delinquent or something? Or bad guy, or tough guy, I don't know. At least call it, uh, Mason du Flan Fish, or something. What, are you speaking French now? Ugh. That's why I can't even... Uh, no. That's why even though I looked everywhere, I still couldn't find it. Because I thought it would. it's not this place. I completely ruled it out, and then walked around and around this area. So... He's late, that I'm guessing. Even now, I still can't believe it. So I'll check the sign one more time. Flying Fish Manor. There's no doubt about it. Even so, I was not uh, entirely convinced. I mean, I know a lot about this place. I don't know a lot about this place. Or, I do know a lot about this place. What's this, an eclipse? It's an old European-style building uh, on the shores of, a, of the lake. 
and besides its appearance, it uh, is a little spooky. When when we were kids, we called this building the Witch's Manor. As a test of courage, we would often sneak into the yard. Ah. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to have a flashback then. We just thought it was a rich person's res uh, residence, but it's a dormitory. Uh, Kaifu Private Academy Student Dorm. I can't just stand here in shock. <sighs> okay. I took a deep breath and stood up straight. Is this when things are going to get... Well, okay, well, we'll decide who our door mates are, I suppose. May I come in? Well, if you're already opening the door and coming in, then I'm pretty sure it's a bit late. Looks like a nice place. Lightly dressed girl. Hello there. Instantly aims for that. Okay. Dots. Whoa! Suddenly a girl in, a, in her underwear appeared before me. And the expression that I had, <laughs> had tried so hard to straighten out crumbled instantly. I, uh, 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 why? She's the only one who should be worried about having been seen. <laughs> but why? I am the. <laughs> I can't. She's the only one who should be worried about having been seen, but. Why am I the one feeling under pressure? Oh, never girl. It's so scary to see a guy. I'm guessing this isn't the right place. From inside the other girl, this one was wearing clothes. What's up with that music? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Showed her face, but when she saw me, she let out a hysterical <laughs> scream. At the same time, the glasses she was wearing looked like they were about to <laughs> slip off. <laughs> Another girl appeared. Not really naked, is it? Here come the rumors. Huh? What? Uh, no, no, that's not it. Just like receiving a uh, salvation from God, my cell phone rang. The word "mum" showed up uh, was showing on display. Excuse me a minute. The music's still playing. I guess this is where things get funny. <laughs> I quickly pressed the button to uh, uh, answer the call. While swiftly escaping outside. Ma'am? Well, the place is full of girls. And I saw one in her underwear. Yeah? I had checked the sign out over and over, but then I noticed some small writing in the corner. Why would you have it in the corner? It's not that small. Girls dormitory. This is a girls dormitory? Did you, do, uh, did you do this on purpose? What is this? What kind of mother are you? Sends their son to an all uh, to a girls dormitory. Yeah, you're the best mum ever. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to be this place's dorm mother, aren't I? What's wrong with them? Just now, they were screaming at the top of their lungs. That damn mother of mine. She's enjoying this situation. Creak. The front door opened slightly as, and the girls from just now were peeking through. Ah, um. When I called out to them like a surprise turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. So you're gonna sleep outside for the rest of the day? What should I do about this? Help? What would, you, what would anyone do in this situation? 
Well, this is the situation. Oh, she got clothes on. Not exactly lightly dressed now, is she? Well, I was explaining the situation. The, the boarding students, apart from the girl in her underwear, who was putting on some clothes, surround me but kept their distance. And this is no good, is it? A boy being the dorm mother of a girl's dorm tree. She doesn't seem bothered. From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were uh, were pretty gaudy. Were some girls who looked like they were hiding, just uh, but they were nodding and, and agreeing. There. If nobody comes here. So, so I suppose if... Mind you, would you really want someone older? I don't know. Would you rather someone your own age or would you rather someone older? Or they were younger? I guess they wouldn't allow them younger, I suppose. Oh, it's another one. Fearful looking girl. Incidentally, there is now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to me uh, to be the same age, or maybe a year younger than me. Why are you staring? What? What is it? Aoi-kun, did you say? Um, I'm still a student from tomorrow. I'll be going to Kefu Academy. I'm a second year. Hey, so, so she's older. He he. He he, she said. What do you mean, he he? <laughs> the person who came to speak to all of you is my mother, and well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting this job as a dorm mother. My mum has a job uh, connected to the real estate, and her company manages uh, this property. The person who seemed to uh, the oldest said so, and the other pe uh, other people reluctantly nodded in agreement. This is just until the owner caretaker uh, comes back, or we find someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. Once the conversation was over, naturally everyone left and went back to their rooms. Yeah, <laughs> みんなおばこい娘さんたちのもんで、若い男を前にして舞い上がっちゃってんのよ。あー、私はシグレカナコ。なかったら私に行ってちょうだい。担任さんの部屋は1階の廊下の突き当たりよ。Thank you very much. Was that all of the uh, boarding students? There's the underwear girl, Kanako, who is with me now. Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and Sana, the girl with the glasses. The timid one who came from the back is Ryoku. That's four people altogether. Oh, Reclusive. Hmm. Oh, in other words, there are five borders in total. This building is pretty big, but there's only five people living here? What a big th I wonder how many, like, um, members, like, dorms usually have. Never been in a dorm, so I don't really know. Come to think of it, my mum did say that there are quite a few empty rooms. It's an old... Like, it's old and a little far away from school, so maybe it's not that popular. <sighs> it's a good way to get exercise. <laughs> Anyway, the conversation ended well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. So in the end, we somehow worked things out. Mayo? What? What are you talking about, Mum? Of course. 
Look, I, well, I'm, I guessed that was going to happen. As soon as they got in there, they spent, well, okay, we're going to have to have one of these characters as one of the prop, probably one of the main female relationships or whatever. Whatever. I hear a quacking noise. Well, technically a flapping noise, not a quacking noise. There's a difference. Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings came from the, down the hallway. Then, a shrill voice uh, sounded out. Quack. Huh? Something big and white came flying down the hallway, and behind it, a break, a, a breakneck speed. Well, who is it? Ah, of course it is. Was the girl in the wheelchair? Oh, of course. Well done, Hat. You'll get a treat later. He's certainly happy about this. <laughs> the big white thing, which somehow seemed likely, uh, likely to a duck, seemed like a duck, was flapping its wings and flew behind me. The girl in the wheelchair avoided all the obstacles in her path. In other words, me, and chased down the duck like a <laughs> drift racer. I was so overwhelmed by the speed that I couldn't say a thing. <laughs> the girl in the wheelchair caught the duck at my feet and snatched away a small white cloth, possibly panties, from his, uh, from his beak. I'll turn you into a pecking duck! Okay. Are you ready? A pecking duck. The girl put the duck down, uh, duck on her knee, and lectured him. I remembered seeing that before. However, it's somehow a lot different compared to the image I had during the day. In the daytime, she seemed more dainty and delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not often that you see such a pretty girl. Looks like your tire is in good condition. She finally realized that there was a guy in standing uh, standing there. Masumoshi Aoi, kiteru no? Oh dear. Uh, yeah. What is it? Ashi ga fushiyu na koga iru kara mendo mite agete ne tte hanashi yo. Sure, I got it. Okay, talk to you soon, ma'am. I replied as soon as the, uh, as soon as I ended the call. Why does it look like she's about to punch someone? <laughs> she got as far as, <laughs> as saying that, but then realized that she had a small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it by scuffing uh, it inside her backside. Ah, that's her name, Kuturi. Uh, Kanako, who was supposed to be taking a bath, poked her head out. Hey, look. Hey, look. Why did you repeat yourself? It's what I felt like that she was saying. And she relentlessly pointed at me. The girl, no, uh, the girl known as Kotori glanced at Kanako like she was <laughs> interfering. And the new doll mother, Aoi Manas. Manas. How do you say the last name? Habane Kotori desu. Habane. Uh, Kochi seemed to be, uh, seemed to meet my introduction with, uh, re reluctance. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Hat. Nice to see you again. Yes, the weather is nice today. I turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. Uh, 
Yes, that's right. So... So you are against it? And she says she doesn't like it, uh, like the fact that the dorm mother of the girl's dorm is a guy, or the fact that we're in the same age, there's nothing I can do about it. Kotori closes her eyes and quietly takes a deep breath as if trying to focus her mind. Kotori? During the day? Which part? She stopped uh, talking and started and stared at Kanako, who was standing behind listening. Uh, Kanako looked as if she was saying, okay, okay, as, uh, as she disappeared down the hallway. That against it? I guess she didn't think she'd ever see him again, so she didn't really mind too much. Oh dear. Oh. We have a flashback. That incident was quite startling, and I, and I remember it well. To see a girl's tears from, uh, from so close like that is something I don't experience very often. Nor do I. I don't think. Well, I probably do, but it's usually uh, fixing problems more than causing them, luckily. Oh dear. I don't know uh, what she thinks about it, but... Those tears were very beautiful. <laughs> Have you forgotten? She's happy about it! Uh, no, not yet. Don't be so silly. When we say it like that, it just becomes more strongly engraved in my memory. Godri straightened her back, composed her expression and smiled, and swish! With a natural gesture, she lifted her, uh, her hair up. <laughs> What's Alu? Beauty! I'm to say Allure, it's just Allure. <laughs> Allure. <laughs> I was wondering, what on earth was that? Oh, I've heard that word before. Let me do it again. <laughs> she said <laughs> she said that and straightened her back and made a composed smile again. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I get it. Alright. <laughs> Nitpicker. Low life jerk. Coach, I use her, uh, her just about every in <laughs> insult there is. How would you? How many insults are there? Probably a lot. Then turned her wheelchair around. Then she hurriedly raced back down the hallway and back into her room. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. D <laughs> Mr. Hat. Along the way, Hat, who had seen uh, her had been thrown off, chased after her and entered the room through a small door, maybe a special door for ducks. Built into the room of the main door. I looked on in disbelief. I don't need to say this, but... The dainty and delicate image that she had in the daytime had completely crumbled away. I... <laughs> a uh, delicate bud was now, uh, beginning to sprout. And we shared a fleeting love. But... Cool, Alu. Right. Well, I remember her lifting her hair and and being. Well, I remember her lifting her hair and being so full of confidence. I feel like I could burst out laughing. She's so funny. <laughs> She's actually saying it out loud. She's so funny. From the beginning, everything was so being so messed up. From tomorrow onwards, it looked like things will start uh, getting interesting. I really felt that uh, prediction w would come true. Hmm, might do. What's happening now? Another white screen. Ew. I don't need to read that again. 
I guess that just means it's a different part. Yay! Are we chopping something up? Okay then, guys. I think that's a long enough for this part. It looks like everything's okay, so that should be good. Um, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and good. Bye.